What's up guys? Sniper on here. I'm at the new lodge. It just came out. I think this came out yesterday for PlayStation because they released... They did a full release on the new map, which is going to be Spain. Which comes out on December 10th for all platforms. Honestly, I'm so excited for it because I want to see all the new animals. Like, I've, I've already seen a preview of all of them. I mean, there's going to be red deer, there's roe deer, of course, but I want to I want to see how aggressive the uh, the wolves are because apparently they're supposed to be ten times more aggressive. But that is not why we're here. Why we're here is because I said I was going to start doing some videos on this game of me killing my most rares, my diamonds, and I want to start with my prize possession. <laughs> But I do not have the video for him because I did not think about doing this. And I am kind of upset about it because I have never found another albino of this animal. And like, what, well, we're in December, so like the past three months I have not been able to find another albino. But I'm going to show you what he is. Okay, yes, this is empty. I literally just bought it. But I'm going to figure out something to do with this because there's so many fucking rooms. But I'm I'm going to I'm going to manage to make it look cool. So we're going to shovel back here. And I'm going to back up towards him. And I think he's right behind me. I shot an albino lion on the 25th of August. Now I wasn't really worried about the score, I shot him with the wrong weapon. Okay, He would have been a really nice sized freaking lion, but I shot him with the wrong weapon because I wanted to just kill him, I wanted to make sure he was dead. The story behind him, it was the first day Dylan bought the game and we started to actually play we were in Layton Lake he only had the 243 so he was shooting bigger animals than he could take down so he went out he bought out he bought the weapon pack for the 30 out 6 and I was like you know what let's go to the Savannah he's like why? I was like, because there's always a shit ton of animals on the savanna. Speaking of that, I lost an albino gemsbok last night. Not very proud of myself for that. Um, and yes, they do exist. I, I seen it last night. Um, anyways, we left the starter house. We went past the big rocks. We were probably about 500 yards from the huge rock behind the house and we crossed over this knoll and I seen a flash of white and I was like the fuck was that and we crept a little bit further and he was about 300 yards away from us and I was panicking I told Dylan to stop moving and I was I was greedy I'm not gonna lie I was greedy at this point because I've never this was my first albino I've ever seen in the game and it was a lion like how fucking lucky is that? Well, Dylan didn't see him at all. And he's like, all right, wait, what's going on? I was like, I see an animal. Just give me a minute. I blasted him and he dropped where he stood. But I'm pretty sure I shot him with the 338. Because he, he dropped right on the spot. From 300 yards, he would have ran with the 7mm. I'm having, I have had bad luck with the 7mm. Um... Dylan didn't know what just happened and we walk over and he is laying there on the ground and Dylan at that point was pissed off he was pissed and I I was just happy like I was like gonna help it first albino I seen and I've been playing this game for the past three years and I found my first albino this year and boy oh boy did the past years of not seeing anything pay off because I have 
so much. I have a whole bunch of an rare animals now. I have two of the same, like, I have two mule deers that are kind of funny because Dylan ended up shooting the same two last night. So I think when I do my video on them, I'm going to put Dylan shooting them and me shoot and me shooting them in, in the same video because it was just hilarious how it managed to happen because his happened about 12 hours after mine happened. So I thought it was pretty cool. But this guy is literally my prized possession. I'm trying to get a female albino so I can do that multi amount for them because I I think two for, two albino uh, lions would look freaking fantastic in a multi mount like that. The wolf multi mount as well. I don't really like the multi mounts unless I have cool looking animals like the wolves. I'm just waiting because if y'all don't, if y'all haven't found out, a white wolves are like the easiest to fucking find in the Yukon. Like they're fucking easy as hell. I find one almost every day I get on. I've got two of them. Once I get the third one, I'll put the multi mount up and I'll put the video up of it because I I took the video of me shooting my first one, my second one. The second one wasn't supposed to be mine. It was supposed to be peanuts, but. The game lied down, he couldn't see it, and I was I just had to claim it. But I've got a lot of videos heading your way, trust me. But I just wanted to make sure the first one I put up was my albino lion. Because this thing, hang on a second, let me get out of this. This thing is just gorgeous. Like, he is downright gorgeous. And I have him set up this way, but you can, you can actually do a whole bunch with them. I don't like the running ones. The running ones just look freaking weird. I think... He kinda just looks like a werewolf now. I like the ones where he's laying down, but he doesn't... I want him to like stare at the door. He doesn't really... He's looking at the wall. So I think we'll just do this. He's kind of like in a stalking mode and it looks pretty freaking cool. But I'm just going to take a picture of him real quick. Perfect. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do another one. Perfect. Okay. So that is the story on my first albino and my albino lion. Now with this, on the other hand, I think I'm just going to turn this into my uh, savanna room. And there's not a lot of plaques in here, but I think I could, I could do some cool stuff with this room. Like, really cool. But anyways, guys, that's my, that's my first story, and uh, don't worry, the, uh, the next... The next one's actually going to have of actual video. And believe me, I my reactions are pretty genuine. But at this point, when I run into, let's say I run into an albino, a lewistic, a melanistic, uh, a dilute, a piebald, it's nothing new to me anymore. Like, I get excited over it, but it's nothing new to me anymore. I run into them like it's fucking candy on Halloween. It's, it's literally, they're just giving me out the freaking shit there is one thing though I don't I do have a diamond in one of the maps but I actually know it's an albino in one of the maps but I shot something and I fucked up again like I did on a water buffalo on that live stream. I fucked up something again. It was also a legendary, but this time I was so like, you know what? Screw it. And I taxidermatized it. That is a hell of a story too, but I will do that in another video because I shot another albino on the map he came from. So I'm going to end this here. You guys just stare into this beautiful, this, this lion 
If I can get him positioned right. The last time I had him positioned, he had like... I don't think I can do it. But when I when I was messing with him last time, his eyes didn't look like he was stoned out of his goddamn mind. Like when I had him in the um the other lodge, when I had him in the uh whatever the fuck that stupid lodge is, when I had him in that one, his eyes were like bright fucking blue. And it just looked amazing with the white. But anywho, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop standing here and stare at him staring at him, try and get the rest of this freaking Lodge either started or something. So, like I said, that's it. My lion, he didn't come with a video, unfortunately. I wish he would have because I lost my goddamn mind. Like, literally lost my goddamn mind when I seen him. But, uh, yep, that's it for this one. I uh, hope you guys have a good day.